What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reacting to this Kevin Gates video where he says he's over 3,000 years old. I'm going to be explaining to you guys why he says this and what's really going on here. So be sure to stick around for this entire video. You guys are going to want to see all this. You don't want to miss any of this. This will be absolutely life-changing. So yeah guys, with that being said, let's get straight into this one. So who is Kevin Gates? Kevin Gates is a famous rapper, a well-known celebrity or artist or whatever you want to call him. But um, he's very well known in especially the young generation today, very famous. Um, it's crazy to see someone in the world like this. Uh, all these supernatural experiences and things that he talks about, which actually to me proves how real the devil is. And if the devil is real, we know that God is real. So get ready for this one guys this is going to absolutely blow your mind with some of the stuff he says i'm going to be showing you exactly what's actually going on here all right so here we go guys let's take a look at what he says here hey, fast forward to the future if i was 86 years old this is gonna sound very very crazy i'm already like 3,000 years old so he's already here claiming guys that he is 3,000 years old which is very interesting according to the time frame of biblical um historicity it seems like um according to the way we believe the earth is relatively not much older than three thousand four thousand years old so just keep that in mind and let's see what else he says here no i just tell people i'm 33 because i don't age so he says that he, he he's 3,000 years old. He just tells people that he's 33 right now because he doesn't age. Okay? Get ready for this. I'm immortal. There's nothing new under the sun. He says he is immortal. There is nothing new under the sun. So when he says he is immortal, he is saying that he cannot be destroyed. He cannot be corrupted. And when he says he, there's nothing new under the sun, he actually takes that line from the Bible because Solomon quotes that in Ecclesiastes. This is from the Bible. It says, nothing is new under the sun. So before I, wanna, before I continue here in this interview, guys, which we don't have a whole lot more left. It's a very quick interview. What's happening here, guys, is there is a demon inside of Kevin Gates. A demon that came in to Kevin Gates that is speaking through Kevin Gates right here, right now in this interview. This is not Kevin Gates. This is a demon that has been around for thousands and thousands of years. That's why it claims to be 3,000 years old. And it says it is immortal because it is spirit. But it did used to have a fleshly body. And he's going to actually prove that by what he says right here. So get ready for this. My mother had sex with an angel, was born an immortal, and ain't even know it. Right there. It says, my mother had sex with an angel. I was born immortal and didn't even know it. So this comes from the Bible, guys. In, the, in, in Genesis, I believe, chapter 6, it talks about how the sons of God, which we see all throughout Scripture, the sons of God referring to um, angels. These were the fallen angels. They rebelled against God, and they ended up having sex with the woman, Back then, they went into the woman. They saw they were beautiful and all that and ended up creating a whole generation of um, giant, monstrous creatures called Nephilim beings. And what's happening here is Kevin Gates has a demon inside of him, not a fallen angel. He has the, the very spirit of a Nephilim being from in the Bible, from when one of these fallen angels had sex with one of the women, and this creature was created. So I want you guys to know here that this is not Kevin Gates. He is under the influence of a demon, a monstrous creature that has been dwelling in people, that has dwelling on the earth for thousands and thousands of years. He said it himself. Um, he's immortal. He's 3,000 years old. He said that his um, mother had sex with an angel, which is biblical. This literally happened in the Bible. In fact, in pretty much every religion, Greek mythology, um, every type of thing like that, there's so much evidence that alludes to, even with all their hieroglyphics, however you want to pronounce it, all that type of stuff alludes to the same thing happening. Fallen angels having sex with a woman, 
creating an entire generation of monstrous giants and beings. So these Nephilim creatures really existed in the beginning um, in the, the, the beginning um, parts of history. So basically what happened was these things dwelled the earth. Um, there was all the sexual morality happening. Um, men were being slaughtered and killed, and these Nephilim beings were ruling the world. And that was one of the reasons God destroyed the world with the flood and spared Noah and his family only. So Kevin Gates, guys, he's extremely demonized. What's happening is this isn't him talking. This is a demon speaking through him. And this actually bears witness to the Bible being true. This is evidence that these demons are are really in the world today. These demons are inside of people. They are corrupting mankind. And it's interesting how the Bible literally says that in the last days, Jesus said it will be like the days of Noah. So we got these Nephilim beings, um, possibly um, at some point, guys, these demonic creatures are going to start to arise again and it's going to get chaotic. So get prepared, guys. We are living in the last days, the last day and age. And you can see even from this interview that it's starting to rapidly increase. People are demonized, and this stuff is very real. He's also rem made remarks like going to heaven. He says he's been to heaven. It's much scarier than what people imagine. I believe that when he says he's gone to heaven, he's saying he, because um, the Bible mentions there are multiple um, heavens. He's talking about the second heaven, which I believe is a spiritual realm where all the demons and, and demonic creatures dwell. So yeah, guys, this stuff is real. So it's so critical that you stay active, you stay alert. The Bible says, stay sober, be vigilant for your adversary. The devil roams around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. This is why you guys got to be so careful to the artists that you are listening to, the, the music you're listening to, the actors you're watching, because a lot of this stuff is literally the doctrine of demons. Some of this music that you guys are listening to has actually been written by demons. The Bible says the entire world is under the sway of the devil. So you guys need to be vigilant. You need to stay active in your word. You need to start seeking God like never before. We are living in the last days and it's critical to put up guards in your life. Uh, the Bible says above all else, protect your heart. So protect your heart. Uh, stop watching this type of stuff. Stop listening to these artists and start seeking God, guys, and prepare um, for revival. It started, it's time for you guys to wake up I'm telling you, we're seeing a worldly artist speaking things uh, that are literally biblical. This stuff is real. It's time to stop um, living to bury what's already dead. Jesus said, let the dead bury their own dead. Stop living for the things of this world that are passing away, that are dying. Live for eternal life. Uh, serve God today and, and walk in revival. All right, guys, is it for this video. I hope this video has helped you out. If you want to support the ministry on here, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like the video. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments about this one. Share this with your friends. Um, check out the store, the shop, guys. It will be in the link in the description. We're coming out with so much awesome merch and dice and all that. So, yeah, guys, with that being said, you all have a great rest of your day, and God bless you. Thank you.